Hello everyone and welcome to Science is Everywhere, where we learn how science affects our everyday lives. Today, we took a trip to Dread River Distilling Company in the heart of downtown Birmingham to learn about the science of distillation. My name is Skylar Kilby and I am the on-site distiller here at Dread River and I have been their on-site distiller for two years now. So distillation is basically the conversion of a liquid material into a vapor back into a purified liquid. So my day to day is I will take a bag of grain and I will put it into hot water and add enzymes that basically help the grain to ferment. And then I will take that mixture and put it into a fermentation tank where it sits for several days. And that basically just helps uh, yeast to grow and they eat the sugars and things that are in the, the mixture. And then from there, I'll take it and put it into the still and turn the, the mixture into vapor and collect the liquid that comes out at the end. So this is our mash tank. This has heated water in it. And so this is what grain goes into um, to make that mixture that will then go into our fermentation tanks, which are pretty neat because they're temperature controlled. So they keep the yeast and things inside of them at a, at a happy level. And they'll sit in those for two, three days, maybe four. And then they get pumped from these into our still over here. And then we do the distillation process and it gets collected in a, a tank and it's weighed and proofed as soon as it comes off. We use a hydrometer and then it'll give me a rough proof so I'll use this and then take the temperature. We've actually got a computer system that if you put in the, the proof and the temperature based on this, it'll give you an exact proof of what it's coming out as. And then after it's finished, I'll stir it to blend it, and then um, we actually have a density meter on the other side, and I'll inject it into that, and it'll tell me like overall proof of the liquid. So you can distill pretty much anything. I know desalination plants will distill salt water and make it drinkable, purified water. We use two different forms of distillation here. We use a steam distillation and then a fractional distillation. Steam di distillation is when you have a liquid that's being heated and it goes through botanicals or some sort of herb and then it comes back down, condensates, and we collect that liquid. A fractional distillation is actually where you have it going through a, a liquid mixture, so there's going to be some solids in the mixture, and it goes through plates, um, which we call columns. So it's a column still, and it'll go through each plate, and each plate is basically its own separate distillation. Um, so the liquid gets turned into a vapor and condensed through each plate, and then we'll collect the purified liquid at the very end of that. Uh, I actually have a degree in food science and then um, agricultural business and economics. So I guess the food science really helped out more in this area, but that's, that's what I studied in college and then interned here. Usually when you're making any type of mash, it's made out of corn or wheat. And then obviously gin, you'll have botanicals, you know, florals, citrus peels, things like that that fit in. So the vapor, um, goes through those botanicals and picks up all of the essential oils and then as it's being condensed back down into a liquid, you get all of those flavors that come from that. So if I had to pick a favorite spirit to make, it would be gin because I just love all of the botanicals and the way that it smells. I think it's fantastic. And then to drink would be our bourbon. I think it's got some really good notes and it's got a nice color, so. That's it for this episode. We hope you learned as much as we did. We'd like to thank our friends down at Dread River for teaching us that science truly is everywhere.